All right, guys, I've done a lot of gun-related EDC content, and today we're going to be keeping with that, talking about the T-Rex Arms sidecar. Now, this is essentially what you probably consider like a Generation 1, maybe a Generation 2, because it's a little bit more modern. They have, since this uh, holster was created, updated it and made it a little bit uh, better for usability. But I thought, because I still have this T-Rex holster, this sidecar, this is one of the more original ones, I would discuss what I think of this. I know that the T-Rex Arms arms youtube channel and uh just overall these holsters are very vogue very popular but a lot of people are buying them and not a lot of people are talking about them so i wanted to make a qu kind of quick review talk about my experience carrying with a sidecar holster and whether they are actually worth it because i think a lot of us especially in the edc community tend to try to be more discerning and you know if there's a particular type of uh, just anything in general, whether it's a holster, earbuds, you know, watches, knives that are super, super hyped up. And, you know, there's just a whole bunch of people, you know, saying how good they are or being very ambiguous, you know, uh, saying that you should buy this holster, you know, if a certain YouTube presence is either making it or saying, oh yeah, you should buy this holster without really any backing, kind of is like, do we actually trust it? So today I thought I'd talk about my personal experiences running a sidecar and uh, just explaining my experience carrying it. Is it worth buying? So without any further ado, guys, let's jump right into this video. So without any further ado, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram, all of that fun stuff. And now let's jump into it. So overall, this thing is a pretty basic holster. And for me, the biggest thing that I kind of disliked about it was that I felt that these were kind of overpriced holster holsters. And I wasn't really sure, you know, whether I should go for one or not. And that's kind of why it took me so long to really commit to it. And ultimately, I am glad that I did get one in the end. And I will say that there are some disadvantages to this that are pretty much standard to kydex holsters but there are also some really unique advantages to this holster that i have had and have several kydex holsters for ccw and i think that these ones are really a cut above so first off i want to say the kind of inherent prone or the inherent cons to kydex holsters kydex holsters as a whole are not my usual go-to or favorite ccw holsters primarily because anytime you have something like this hard plastic pressing directly up against your body it's very uncomfortable and it's especially noticeable when you're doing things like at the range and you draw your firearm and the firearm is no longer in the holster so as it stands you know when it's uh, in your holster like this this is essentially what your body is feeling like pressed up against it when you draw that uh, firearm out this is now what you feel. So you feel this very sharp and kind of painful plastic digging into you when you're kind of like out and about training and drawing your firearm and uh, like using it on the range or, you know, in practice, whatever, if you do draw your firearm is going to be very uncomfortable. Same can be said too with the mag holster. So when you have your magazine like this and it's in there, you know, it feels just fine. But when the magazine is withdrawn, this is what you end up feeling against your body. So that's kind of something Thing that's inherent to kydex holsters and why i like generally um leather holsters so for instance this is just my uh, milt sparks holster for my glock 19 x also works with normal glock 19s and you can see that uh, this is what it would look like if you were carrying it up against your body still very protected and very nice and i really do like the way milt sparks does this but you can see here very well very nice protected but even when the firearm is withdrawn this on a kydex holster would probably be quite painful because it's you know this little piece in flange of plastic but on a leather holster it's not only very rounded and very thick but of course leather is very pliable you guys can see here that if i were to draw this you know firearm out in this holster was left up against my body that this leather would just bend right so it's not going to be digging into your body like a kydex holster would because leather is just more pliable more malleable and like i said generally speaking uh the leather is going to be rounded over hopefully you guys can see there and it's going to be a little bit thicker than something like these sharp plastic edges of kydex now that's just a general kydex thing it's not necessarily saying that t-rex arms holsters are bad but just be forewarned this is why i usually advocate for leather holsters 
at least for CCW. Now, if you are using an outside the waistband holster or a more tactical kind of uh, situation holster where it's going to be on the outside of your body and it's not gonna be touching, you know, like your sensitive inside core, like digging into your abdomen or the side of your body, then Kydex all the way. Kydex is a great material for holsters and very durable. So that's kind of my two cents on holsters in general. Now, where do I think the T-Rex holster goes right in a lot of ways is its setup. It's hard to exactly describe, but I will say that I do think the guys at T-Rex Arms spent a lot of time, even with these early generation um, sidecars, really making them uh, just very form-fitting. It's hard to exactly describe, and I'll try to roll in some pictures here of how this holster is on body, but it feels very snug and very secured. I know there are other YouTubers that have talked about different sidecars made by different companies, but I really will say I think T-Rex Arms has this one nailed because at least for my body, I find that, especially with this little uh, piece of metal here, it really helps tilt the holster back into your body, which initially might sound painful, but with your firearm you really do want your ccw holsters to kind of have a tilt back kind of like this so that it's easier to conceal the firearm and so i have found it incredibly easy to have this big rig as most people would think you know where you have uh, you know something like a magazine here a firearm here and so this is overall a pretty big package but it does conceal extremely well due to the ergonomics or at least the design that is uh, with this sidecar i think it's really well executed and that was one of the first things that i noticed and i was genuinely impressed with this holster is just how easily uh, t-rex makes this sidecar really conceal deep within your body Okay, so the next part for me, and I think another thing that I really like about these holsters, and another thing that's almost kind of like, I don't know how T-Rex Arms managed to do this, is the retention on these holsters. The retention, if you pick up a T-Rex Arms holster, is far different than most uh, of your Kydex holsters. A lot of them, from people like Tolster and others that I've tried, they have a really noticeable push where the holster will kind of sit like this, and then you really have to push the firearm into the holster you'll hear it click and then it locks in with t-rex arms once again i'm not quite sure how they molded it but i really do like the fact that this firearm just slides right in and you guys can see here there's no pressure there's no effort the firearm just slides right in this isn't going to just flop out right now i will say one kind of downside is that this doesn't have the most retention ever this is an unloaded firearm and i can still kind of make it jiggle out if i try hard enough um, it's not wanting to go right now. It's making a liar of me, but it does jiggle out kind of easy, but it has a, a lot more retention than you would actually expect, especially considering that once again, it's like, that once again, it just kind of just drops in there. It just locks in and it's very, very easy. So I will say, I think they really nailed the retention on these holsters because you can just drop it, drop it in and it just locks right in. There's no, you know, big push that you have to push the firearm into. That's typical of a lot of your Kydex holsters. And same can be said, once again, with the mag carrier. Um, now this one, you do kind of have to push. There's a little bit more friction. But there's also a bit more friction and retention in this one. So uh, I will say I really do like the execution and retention on the actual firearm side of things. I mean, the mag carrier is just fine, but I will say it's really nice where it's very dialed in and you can kind of just barely, you know, push it to click and then it really does lock in. They're a company that's very much dedicated to aftermarket aftermarket accessories on their firearms. So whether you're running lights, lasers, um, whether you're running like an RMR like this in particular or any red dot sight for instance, whether you have you know extended barrels with compensators, all of that kind of stuff can be noted and they can make custom guns that are custom holsters that are fitted around your customized gun. Once again, I like the fact that <clears throat> with this company, they are very much, or with T-Rex, they're very much gung-ho about, you know, civilians and self-defenders having things like red dots, having things like lights, lasers, compensators, uh, different things like that to make their guns more effective or their guns easier to control or just in general more useful. So the other big pro to these, while this one is not maybe the best example of that holster system because I do I'm not running a light on it, but I do have an extended barrel or I do have a threaded barrel and I do have a red dot on this one. And of course it is cut for the red dot, you can see perfectly, and it is also 
um, open-ended for any type of compensator or anything that my extended barrel or my threaded barrel would hold. So it is set up for that and completely usable in that regard. So overall, what do I think of it? I think it's actually pretty impressive. I wasn't really sure because, you know, a lot of times you get a Kydex holster for around $50, $60. And, you know, they're not bad holsters at all. They're just fine, but, you know, they're not necessarily at the same level as something like this. Um, so with a T-Rex holster, you know, T-Rex arms holster, you are spending a good amount more. I think right now they're about $150 for something similar to this sidecar setup. So they're definitely not cheap at all, but you are getting a really good product, um, with this holster. So I will say that from the retention to the design, uh, and everything in it, it is ultimately a Kydex holster. So take it take that and do with it what you will. You know, some people don't like paying a lot of money for Kydex holsters, but they are pretty darn good. And I do think that there was a lot of time and development and effort into this design and it's very refined. Once again, you know, it's one of my more refined holsters. It's definitely on par with something like my Milt Sparks. And this Milt Sparks, don't get me wrong, is a close to $200. If not, I'm sure by now it's $200. I think I spent about $180, $170 on this holster. So, you know, it is definitely comparable in price to, you know, your higher end or quality leather holsters um, and certainly once again you know you can get a cheaper holster cheaper kydex than this you can get cheaper leather than milt sparks but i will say if you do spend the extra money on things like milt sparks or spend the extra money on things like uh, t-rex what you are getting is just a better more refined design better retention or at least you know um better retention, better design, easier to CCW or easier to carry, and just overall a better end product. So anyways, that's what I think of the T-Rex Arms sidecar holster. I really like it. I think it's worth it. I'm definitely going to be getting a sidecar for my FN509C, and that's how I'm going to be running it because I do really like these guys. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this helps because like I said, there just aren't really a lot of videos breaking down T-Rex Arms holster in general so I thought you know I'd break them down and at least explain it so that if you are interested or in the market for them if, or if you've been looking at them this is what I think of the sidecar so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always God bless and I'm out